Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder, out at Lake Crest with Madame Homes. Last one of the day is going to be a Quentin with a basement. Per usual, guys, if you don't care about a basement, just look at the Quentin. I will be doing the basement last. Uh, inventory home, reason I'm can't sp panning over, is that also a Quentin with a basement? We're going to go take a look at this one. Now, six bedroom, four and a half bath. I didn't split that out. I know there is one bedroom downstairs, so maybe the upper will be five. And three and a half. Nice brick front too. Beautiful. I think I was going to say these were inventory homes. I'm not going to take a video of two of the same inventory home, even though they're different homes. Same square footage. Same bedroom, bathroom. Different lot, it's a different elevation. I don't know why I left that door. That's where we'll be going last in this Clinton, Quinton with the basement. Ah, oh, just loved all the windows, all the natural light. They did a great job of putting this one together. I've been in a Quentin before. I'm sure with this one, nobody's going to be building behind you. Take a quick walk on the deck. But I know it's an inventory home. The fact is, sometimes people call me about these inventory homes, not just the floor plan. Space. Guest room downstairs. And you know I love it. I missed turning on the lights. Ah, we'll get it right now. Off by itself in the guest suite. I dig that. I just because I like options with people that are having somebody that's going to stay in their home long term. Doesn't have to share the downstairs bathroom with outside folks. You know? I think they appreciate that. They're gonna be living with you. Really big, really big pantry. All right, let's pause it and head upstairs. Made it up safely. It's the last home of the day, sometimes I wonder. Dogs start barking a little bit. I love that feature. Take a look at these secondary bedrooms. They're decent size, folks. All of them. Seen on some of my other videos, you know, that's not always the case. Full bath for upstairs. The shot of the loft. Yeah, the shot of that guy, oh, you can't see it. Laundry room. And master bedroom. It's on either side. I think I'd like that. Keep your stuff out of my stuff. A 
I'm telling you, madam, he doesn't give you choices. This isn't a huge bathroom, but some folks couldn't care less about that. It's a workroom. Got things to do and get out in the world. I don't need one the size of another bedroom. Wait a minute, the thing's got three closets? I missed that when I came in turning on the lights. All right. Guessing the dude's going to get that one. And the miss is going to get that one. All right, we're about to head downstairs in this Quentin to the basement. So we're done if you don't care about a basement. Thanks for showing up. Top of the screen is my buyer's incentive. Thanks again, guys. And then uh, whoever wants to look at a basement, hang on. Here we go. Now, somebody's living down here. They've got it all, right? Huge open living area. I know it's going to be a playroom. But just in case somebody was living down here, this, they've got this. They can close off with these big old French doors They're by themselves. Because guys, this isn't the bedroom. This is just a whole other room in the downstairs of the basement. This is your bedroom. like a walk-in closet around the corner too. Of course, not a huge bedroom. They never are downstairs in the basements. And for this particular house, and I'm guessing on the lot next to it, maybe backing up to something looking kind of like that. I think that's pretty. Once again, folks, thank you. Quentin with the basement. Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder. At the top of the screen is my buyer's incentive. Take a look.